1MG was actually started in 2015 and before that actually it was a, a line in my previous business health cart i started health cart in 2011 um, so 1MG started with a simple idea that consumers need uh, transparency in their healthcare. So we first created actually a content platform around medicines like a database of Wikipedia of medicine information and that became India's largest health app. Just people used to come to read about their medicines and compare prices between various brands and uh, all of that. What we thought was um, that we need to go beyond just information and transparency and we wanted to make healthcare understandable, accessible and affordable. So that's when we added the transaction layers that can we provide medicines, lab tests, consultations also on an integrated platform. So we uh, started building those transaction lines of business. Um, so in fact the users only started asking us that they are getting all their medicine information on 1MG. Can they, uh, why can't they buy? So we started connecting them with local pharmacies um, and that's how the business started scaling up. Then we added diagnostics, then consultations. I think um, there's a lot of misinformation around this. Um, now, last year in August, the government had come up with draft e e um, pharmacy notification. After that, a lot of the vested interests, associations and all went to various courts trying to um, uh, get a stay based on some misinformation and initially there was um, uh, the, uh, the there was a an order that said that all players who are operating without license should be banned now we also agree with that actually it, it doesn't impact us because uh, all the transactions that go through our platform everything goes from a licensed premise on only so the one the understanding of that uh, uh, verdict itself was um, not very, uh, it was, I would say, interpreted in different ways uh, by different people and then um, uh, the association tried to spread some misinformation. Um, the, the court cases are still on, so the matter is anyway substitutist. It's, there is, uh, uh, we believe our model is perfectly in compliance. So there is actually um, no stoppage of operation uh, given that every single dispensation happens from a licensed premises. I think um, the challenge is that this space needs a lot more investment and a lot of innovation. And a lot of entrepreneurs started uh, with various parts of the healthcare uh, business. And e-pharmacy is, is very important, like whatever part of healthcare, you do need medicines also as a part of it. So a lot of entrepreneurs in healthcare actually gave up and they started and then they shut their operation for one of two reasons. One, because the regulatory pressure they felt was too much. Um, and secondly, because uh, the investors would always be concerned whether uh, the regulator is going to be supportive or not. So a lot of these issues I think are true for most regulated sectors. They are designed to uh, make innovators feel uh, uh, a little challenged. So um, now as a result of it, a lot of entrepreneurs in healthcare have given up already. And that's not a good sign because there's so much more that needs to be done. The building block of that is uh, we need to have very clear norms for e-pharmacy, we need to have very clear norms for something like telemedicine. So while e telemedicine is another one topic where the Prime Minister has also spoken of providing doctors through technology in distant villages and all, but again it's in the same uh, grey zone. So I think some of these things in regulated industries are important to be clarified with speed so that entrepreneurship can thrive. So I think uh, one thing that is very, very important is that uh, one, um, uh, we have very, very proactively engaged with the government from the beginning to make sure that our model does not break any law. We are in full compliance and investors need that. Uh, having said that, it's, it's not been an easy process uh, to raise investment in this space. Uh, it's only because, see, if, all the investors, what are they looking for? They are looking for large industries with a lot of pain points which technology can solve. 
this industry can solve all of that it has all those characteristics the only i would say overhang has been what will be the regulatory impact and for us it took a lot of effort to convince investors that we are in full compliance liked the video then don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to entrepreneur india hit the bell icon to get notified for more such videos